How can women address a lack of sexual desire in a relationship? What are the cultural differences in female sexuality? Hello to all lovers of psychology and sexuality. Today, we will unveil the sexual curiosities of women. If you are interested in these topics, make sure to subscribe and activate the notification bell to not miss our future videos. Also, leave us comments and share your experiences in the section below. Let's get started. Women can address a lack of sexual desire in a relationship through open and honest communication with their partner. It's also important to identify potential underlying causes, such as stress or fatigue, and consider couples therapy if necessary. Cultural differences in female sexuality are significant. Norms, beliefs, and attitudes about sexuality vary widely across cultures. This can influence sexual education, expectations, and perceptions of women's sexuality. Health professionals, it is always advisable to speak with health professionals for specific information about sexual health and receive personalized guidance. History of vibration, the use of vibrating devices for sexual stimulation dates back to the 19th century. Initially created as medical devices to treat female hysteria, they became popular sexual toys. The influence of the moon. Some people believe that the moon's phase can influence libido and sexual behavior. Although lacking solid scientific evidence, this belief persists in some cultures. The influence of pornography on expectations. Pornography can influence sexual expectations. It's important to remember that pornography is a fictional representation of sexuality and should not be seen as a standard for real sexual life. Submission and domination games, known as BDSM, can be a consensual and safe way to explore intense fantasies and emotions in intimacy. Communication and respect are crucial in these practices. Right side and left side. Some research suggests that people have preferences for the right or left side during intercourse, although the reason behind these preferences remains a mystery. Masturbation. Masturbation is a common way for both men and women to experience orgasms. It is a healthy practice that can help individuals learn about their bodies and sexual preferences. MRI studies. MRI studies have shown that the brain areas activated during orgasm are similar in both genders, suggesting that the experience is more similar than previously thought. Multiple orgasms. While more common in women, some men can train themselves to experience multiple orgasms without the traditional refractory period. Need for relaxation. Relaxation is key for a pleasurable experience. The anal sphincter must relax to allow comfortable and enjoyable penetration. Orgasm control. Some men practice orgasm control, also known as the edging method, which involves intentionally delaying orgasm to prolong sexual pleasure before allowing themselves to climax. Female orgasm in mammals. While the female orgasm is common in humans, it is less common in other mammals its function in reproduction remains a topic of debate. Orgasms and menopause. Some women experience an increase in the frequency and intensity of orgasms after menopause as hormonal changes can positively impact sexual function. Passion for learning. Showing interest in learning new things and continuing intellectual growth can be attractive. Personal care. Personal care, including hygiene, style, and health, can also influence attraction. Positive body language, confident posture, and positive body language, such as eye contact and a smile, can be very attractive. Prostate orgasm. Prostate stimulation can lead to intense orgasms in men, often achieved through anal stimulation, known as the prostate orgasm. The psychology of sex. Psychology plays a fundamental role in sexual experience. Factors such as self-esteem, confidence, and stress can influence desire and sexual performance. Sexual therapy can be a valuable tool to address these issues.
Relationship between stress and infertility, chronic stress can affect fertility in both men and women. Stress can impact sperm quality, ovulation, and sexual response. Relaxing effects, orgasms release endorphins, acting as natural painkillers, which can help reduce pain, alleviate stress, and improve mood. This explains why many people feel relaxed and happy after an orgasm. Risks and injury prevention. Lack of adequate lubrication, rough penetration, or the use of inappropriate objects can increase the risk of injuries. Taking precautions is essential to avoid problems. Sex during menstruation is a personal choice. Some couples find it entirely satisfying and comfortable, while others may prefer to avoid it. Using protection is essential if engaging in sex during menstruation. Sex in space. As space exploration advances, the question arises about how sex will take place in space. Microgravity conditions may pose unique challenges for sexual activity. Sex in the elderly. Sexuality in old age is an important part of life for many older individuals. Older couples can continue to enjoy an active and satisfying sex life. Sex and chronic diseases. Individuals with chronic diseases such as diabetes, arthritis, or multiple sclerosis can still enjoy a fulfilling sex life. Open communication with a healthcare professional is key to addressing concerns and adapting intimacy to individual needs. Sexsomnia is a sleep disorder in which a person engages in sexual acts while asleep, unaware of their actions. It can lead to awkward situations and may require medical attention. Sexuality in ancient Egypt. In ancient Egypt, sexuality was considered a natural part of life and was reflected in Egyptian art and mythology. Sex was viewed as a divine act. Painful coitus syndrome, also known as dyspareunia, is a condition where a person experiences pain during intercourse. It can be caused by various reasons, such as medical, emotional, or physical issues. Spirituality. For some women, spirituality and the search for meaning in life are attractive qualities. Breast size and desire. Studies have shown that there is no significant correlation between a woman's breast size and her ability to arouse sexual desire in others. Attractiveness is subjective and varies from person to person. Types of orgasm. Women can experience different types of orgasms, including clitoral, vaginal, and G-spot orgasms. Some women also experience combined orgasms involving multiple areas of stimulation. Variability. The male orgasm experience can vary in intensity and duration. Some may have more intense or prolonged orgasms than others. Virginity. The perception of virginity and its importance varies widely depending on culture and time. In some places, it is highly valued, while in others, it is considered less relevant. Human sexuality is a fascinating and diverse field that never ceases to amaze us. Sexual curiosities unveil the wonderful complexity of the human experience in the intimate realm. As we explore and understand these facts, it is crucial to remember that each individual is unique in their sexual experience. Respecting and communicating with your partner are the keys to a satisfying and healthy sexual life. Sexual education and understanding are essential tools for fully embracing our sexuality.